everybody, welcome to my Fresh Off The Hook Thursday with Hayley from Hayley's Hats. Um, I've been really enjoying seeing all your creations this week. Um, Dee, good luck in your craft show today. The photographs looked amazing. Um, so I'll just um, get on and show you what I've made this week. Um, this week I've made a mini mouse hat and scarf set. This is a scarf. I've put a bow at the bottom, you can see there it's actually quite big, it's quite long actually, it's for uh, I think a three year old, so I've done it extra long because it's so cold here in Scotland, so at least it can be wrapped around a few times, um, I've just done like the double crochet three times like you would do in like a granny square, um, Mr. Chain and then gone into the next one. So that's it, I've done that one. That was with um, Stylecraft, um, Wool, um, Black, both of them were Stylecraft. Um, and this is a hat to match. Who has a hat with cute little ears? And I've done like a turn up at the bottom there, just because I think it looks really, really cute. Everything is kind of opposite on camera and I need to remember that. So, I don't know if you can see, there you go, that's a mini mouse hat. Um, the next thing I've made is um, a grey ear flap hat, this is 30% um, wool, um, it's chunky wool, I made it for my sister, wanted it for um, my niece's friend, my niece has got one of these, this is her school colours, so um, she wanted to be twins with a little friend so now they can both have the same hat and be twins so this is the hat is really really nice it feels lovely I might actually get make myself one of these it feels quite fit it's soft but it feels like you know it's really thick as well because it's chunky wool so there's that I've just done that again in double crochet and I put the ear flaps on that's the back and I've done the slinky flower. Um, you can find the tutorial from the Art of Crochet by Teresa on here, Crochet Geek, Geek Crochet Geek. Um, that's the flower, it's quite hard to see actually because it's quite dark. But that's the flower there, that's maroon. Maroon and grey. The other thing I made now, um, I, it was quite funny actually because I thought, oh, I'll, I'll make a Santa, Santa hat, right? And I thought, oh, I'll just make, make the pattern up. And I've seen patterns online. And I just thought, oh, I'll, I'll just try and make one myself. So, anyway, what I'll do actually is I'll show you the one that I started. Um, I started one, I thought, I'll do it in chunky wool because the lady said that she wanted to pull it on her daughter um, out and about. So I thought, oh, it's so cold, I'll do it in chunky wool. Well, what a mistake that was, I tell you. Because it's quite stiff, the wall, I don't know, anyway, and I didn't do it thick enough either, right? So I'm going to put it on, and I know I'm going to look really silly on, but, it, you know, I had to share this with you. Right, this is meant to be a Santa Claus hat. Now, look, it fits me, and it's supposed to be for a one-year-old, right? So I really messed up on that. But it's the first time that I've really made any Santa hats or anything like that. So, I don't know. You can see it's just standing on end, right? And it's not, you know, it's not thick enough, it's not long enough. When you turn it over, I don't know. I, do you know what? Maybe I should just keep it for myself, just as a joke. Maybe. I don't know. I want mine like a little flashing uh, pom-pom or something on the end, just because I'm, I don't know. I like that you can see it. I just gave up. Look, it's still all attached. So that's that. Look. Look at that. What a mess. I don't know. I just did not like the way this came out, I didn't like the feel of it, I don't know, it just didn't look right at all, sorry, I've messed all my hair up now, um, but yeah, so, I thought I'll, I'll, uh, I'll make another one, and I've done it with just double knitting wool, so, and it's sparkly, I know it won't show up, the sparky, sparkly wool, it's white sparkly wool, it won't show up because on the camera, but I don't know, it's, I don't know why it don't show up on camera, but it's really, really difficult to get the sparkles to show up, but it is sparkly wool. 
Um, so that's that's a pom pom there. Oh look, I just saw a little sparkle. Okay. But no, um, so that's the bottom. I done like the is it called popcorn? Popcorn stitch. I done that up there and I done like um what was it? I don't know if it was a triple or a double. I think I what did I do there? I think that was a it might have been a triple. Well no it wasn't, it was a it was a double crochet. I've done two double and then I went into the popcorn stitch and because this was like I don't know if it was like two ply wool, so it was quite thin and um I done like seven double crochets and then you know like pulled it together to make the popcorn stitch just so that I wanted it to stand out quite a bit and um, the colors are not showing up as bright as they are this Santa hat is really bright red and it's got sparkly sparkly wool at the bottom and that's white the colors are not showing up anything nice as what they are um, but I quite like the way it came out I left it floppy um, at the bottom just I don't know I quite liked leaving it that way so that's my Santa hat that's for like a one-year-old so it's gonna look really cute on um, so this is for Savannah so I don't know if uh, Lindsay if you can get a picture of Savannah wearing this that'd be so cool thank you if you if you could do that um, because my camera hasn't got a flash on it I really need to invest in a new camera so if you could get a picture of Savannah wearing it that'd be really cool um, what else did I make um, God, do you know what? Oh yeah, I made a bow, and that was for um, the mini mouse hat, but I just it was too small. So what I might do for this one, I've got a mouse head, is um, make like ear warmers for my daughter. So that's what I'll probably do with that spare bow and put like the mini mouse spots on. Um, I'll show you um, these two other things that I made. These are not fresh off the hook. Um, but because I've got them here, I thought I would just show them to you anyway. Um, it's a dinosaur hat. Um, I've done like the face. You can see there, that's the head and the eye, and it's double sided, so it's got an eye on the other side there. And spikes. These are the spikes going all the way over across the hat, and then down to a towel. So that's a towel. And that's double sort of sided as well in ear flaps and braids so um just because i had that here i thought i would show you so that's that one um and there's another mini mouse hat here as well i didn't make that this week either um but i've got it here so i'll just show it to you there we go oh god that's it Um, the other thing I wanted to show you now this was not made by me it was made by my mum um, she's got a Facebook page called Handmade by Kay um, it's made from this gorgeous gorgeous um, pom pom wool and I love this wool because it's so soft and it's thick and when it's knitted up this is knitted and when it's knitted up it doubles up on itself so it's even thicker this is like a little pillow mum crocheted like a back bit to put the pillow and we left that open so that's like a baby pillow and the colors I'm gonna put photographs on after at the end of this just to show you the real colors because these colors are not showing out properly so that's like a pillowcase and then this is like a pram blanket um, this is gorgeous it's so soft I love it love it it is just so soft and it will keep the baby really, really warm. Um, oh, and I did make something else actually, but my daughter's wearing it to school. Um, I think if some of you like have seen me on um, Facebook, you would have, um, my friends on Facebook, you would have seen um, that on Monday I was making something for my daughter, a surprise. So she's actually wearing that to school today, but she did record a little video this morning um, to you guys so that you could see her wearing it. So what I will do is I will put her video on after this one so you can see her wearing a um, wearing a hat and it's like a neck warmer and a hat um, shell stitch. So what I'll do is I'll put the video on after this. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you for watching. Um, Thank you all for subscribing to my YouTube channel. 
um, thank you all for your lovely comments. Um, and I watched, God forgive me, um, I think it was Susie Cruzy. God, sorry if I've got your name wrong, but I watched your video and you nearly brought me to tears. Um, it was just, oh, you're lovely. Right, thank you. Um, thank you, everybody. Um, I look forward to seeing you all next week. Um, keep posting your videos. They are, I just love watching all your videos and all your creations that you're making. They're just absolutely gorgeous. So thank you so much. Thank you for being so welcoming to me. Um, I'm really, really enjoying doing this fresh off the hook. It's given me so much inspiration and it just keeps me carrying on crocheting because I've got lots of orders to get through and I need to do, I need to learn to crochet in my sleep. So if anybody knows how to do that, please give me some tips because that would be so cool if I could do that. So um, yeah, thank you. Have a good day. Um, God bless. Bye. Go. Hi, Fresh of the Hook. Um, my mum made the set for school. Right. Do you like it? Yeah. Right, it's a shell stitch. It's got neck warmer. Wait, <laughs> right, I'll put um, fasteners on. You can see there, I'll put press studs on. It's a shell stitch. Ray, just wait a minute. There's a flower, a slinky flower. Um, and this is shell stitch. Um, the shell stitch hat I got from the Art of Crochet by Teresa. Um, this is um, like a brushed acrylic. Um, it's really, really soft. Does it keep you warm? Yes. No, okay. Are right, you going to say goodbye? Bye. Go. Hi, Fresh of the Hook. Um, my mum made the set for school. Right. Do you like it? Yeah. Right, it's a shell stitch. It's got neck warmer. Wait up! Right, I'll put um, fasteners on. You can see there, I'll put press studs on. It's a shell stitch. Ray, just wait a minute. There's a flower, a slinky flower. Um, and this is shell stitch. Um, the shell stitch hat I got from the Art of Crochet by Teresa. Um, this is um, like a brushed acrylic. Um, it's really, really soft. Does it keep you warm? Yes. Right, okay. Right, you're going to say goodbye? Bye.